following program on Ada Verna 24 is classified for general audience. It is intended for all ages. It contains little or no violence, no strong language, and little or no sexual dialogue or situations. We would like to remind our viewers that the views expressed in this program by our participating guests are solely viewpoints of them who take part and does not reflect the views and beliefs of the Verena Media Network. Good evening and you're joining with us on another episode on Gen XYZ and as you all know this is a program where we talk about youth related topics or issues. Now, Today on the discussion we are going to talk about especially getting involved in yourself in clubs. Now I'm pretty sure most of us like when we were young also we probably would have been engaged in more than one clubs like starting from school to university to national clubs to sports clubs and so on. Now if I mention the Lions Club like I'm pretty sure that everybody of us know what Lions Club is all about because it has been the longest club uh, running here in Sri Lanka as well. But that's not the main purpose here. Now, there has been a subsection of Lions Club, which is called the Leo's Club. And that has been the longest uh, youth non-governmental organization which has been running in Sri Lanka. So now we have some guests on the show today to talk about their purpose here and the youth engagement of these clubs and the benefits that uh, the youth can gain by joining these clubs. So to find out their purpose here in Sri Lanka, I would like you to, to be introduced to uh, Dulini Kure, who is the Leo Multiple District Vice President and also Rahul Athanayaka, who is the Leo Multiple District President and Mandagini Karyavasam, who is the Leo Multiple District Secretary. Thank you so much for taking the time to join me on the show today. And thank you for having us. Okay, to start off this discussion, I'm getting so many questions. First question is, what is Leo Club and what is your purpose? <laughs> Do you if you yes. please? <laughs> so, uh, Leo Club, as you started off, uh, it's part of the Lions Club. And we are the youth program of the Lions Club. So, uh, the Lions wanted to give this opportunity to the youth. So as a result, they started Leo Club Movement as official project of theirs. So now it has evolved into more than, I think, uh, 100... More uh, than 150 yes, countries. 100 countries, or now there's more than 160,000 Leos all over the world. So in Sri Lanka, we started uh, around in 1969 as a Leo Club. And now we have evolved into what it is today. So I think uh, the multiple president and multiple secretary would uh, kind of take it from here and explain how we have evolved through the years. Yep, Rahul, I've, uh, before we go into that discussion, I would like to know about uh, your titles. What does this multiple district wise, the word multiple mean in this? Uh, multiple in the sense when you talk about Leo in Sri Lanka, we have like the, uh, three stages which comes as the club stage and then comes as the district stage and then comes as the multiple stage so you i mean first of all you need to be a club president after being a club president then you can be a district president after being a district president then you can go for the multiple district presidency so basically it is something like a election which right. goes like every year so like anyone who is a district president can ask for the multiple district presidency and anyone who has done a, a club presidency again can ask for the, the district presidency. So when you take Sri Lanka as a whole, it's divided into six districts, not our usual uh, how it's divided, but in Leos and Lions is different, but it's divided into six districts. So each district uh, have their own district president. So in charge of all of these six uh, districts are the multiple. So then the multiple itself has a president, a vice president, a secretary and a treasurer, an okay. executive board. So that's so the main purpose of the multiple is to, you know, the administration part. So that's how it is. And we, the six district we have is from A1, A2, B1, B2 and C1, C2. So those are the six districts. So multiple district president is there um, for the administration purposes. So even the district presidents, they do the administration purposes in their respective districts. 
because they have clubs inside the district. So that's what mainly they do as well. Okay, so you all are handling multiple districts at the same time, is it? Yes. Yes. Okay. It's so like a hierarchy. Right. So is this the topmost of the hierarchy? Yes. yes. So multiple right. district president, if we call, he's like the number one Leo in that particular year. All right. So how do your programs run? What is your whole purpose of getting youth involved in Leo's club? So uh, when we talk about the Leo, uh, we just... We, we, we say Leo, 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 but most of the times no one knows what this Leo means. So Leo has its own meaning. So L means leadership, E means experience and O means opportunity. So it goes from uh, bottom to top actually, opportunity, experience and leadership. So you get the opportunity, through the opportunity you get the experience and then you become the leaders. So that's what the main purpose of Leoism because when we say Leoism most of the times aligning with the Lions, Lions movement they always think that the Leos are always engaging in this community service volunteerism right. is just one part of it but the main purpose of Lions having the Leo movement is to you know uh, build up leaders create leaders and then let them slowly join to the Lions movement after they you know uh, fulfill their age where we can become Leos up to 31 years, so 31 years old, so after that you can become the Lion. So the, the main purpose of uh, Leoism is to build up leaders also through volunteers. So building up leaders is the main purpose here, right? Yeah, and the other thing is that sometimes we believe that, you know, some people think to be a leader, I mean, some people tell uh, when we are like born, we are leaders and some people tell to get the leadership, you need to work hard. Yeah. So, I mean, there are so many mindsets in Sri Lanka where as we think. But in comes to Leo, this is like an opportunity where you can come and learn stuff. For like example, if you like to be a nice pre pre presenter or if you like to dance or like to sing, so you might not get the opportunity to, I mean, to do that everywhere. But this is a place where you have like enough and more opportunities. Like if you really want, I mean something like a concert, now just think you might not be invited to come and dance in a concert or something. But here in Leo, like we have so many events. So if you are a person who like to dance, by joining to Leo, again you can get that opportunity from here. So he, this is a place where you have a lot of opportunities and if you don't have opportunities, you can go and cre create the opportunities because I mean a lot of times in Sri Lanka also like we always tell, we complain, right? We ask people, we are co-opportunities, <laughs> we need True. opportunities. So I'm always saying if you don't have opportunities, go and freaking create the opportunities. That's so right. this is a place where you can go and create opportunities and through that opportunities, you all get experience. I'm not telling that you will always get a very good experience. Okay? There are bad experiences in life which will lead us to I mean, some really, really good stuff. So I mean, there will be ups and downs in this movement. There is everything in this movement. You can experience all the things in this movement. I mean, it can be very happy moments. It can be even sad moments. Okay, so in this movement, you ha can experience all of that. And with that experience, you can get out your uh, unique leadership. Because when we're talking about leadership also, we can't really, we can't really define tell this is the best leader. Yes, okay. that's right. I mean, um, example, Dulini might be something else, I might be something else. It might be the same thing, but the way we carry out things will be very, very different. So even, it goes to everyone in the world. So when it comes to leadership also, this, this movement will help you get the opportunity and through that the experience and finally to get out the unique leader in you, to get out the unique personality which is inside you. So being a Leo, it's not only about the service, at the same time this has something which comes along with it. I mean if something happens to us now even, we can be happy because we are helping the world. At the same time, uh, another thing is sometimes we believe we, we should always help people, we should always help people and we forget ourselves. I'm saying number one, you should not forget yourself. You should always remember about yourself. I mean, it's not being selfish. Some might be telling this fellow is very talking about being selfish. Not that. If we can improve ourselves, if we can build ourselves as a personality, then we can help a lo help lot of people. Without building ourselves, it will be tough to help people. So in this movement, we always help people, we help the community, we help the world, we help all the Sri Lankans and whoever you are. 
but we always tell we help but first of all we need to improve ourselves we need to build ourselves as personalities and then that's very problem. true that is so true because it's if you like yeah it's a platform for you to explore yourself and sort of like a trial and error mm -hmm. let's say that's right like what yeah. i was going to say was also if you don't fix yourself how are you going to fix other people yeah. right so now this trial and error method now you're saying that leo is providing opportunities for people to explore themselves and you know put themselves out there so what are the platforms that leo has created in order for people to engage in these sort of activities like where has the door been open to i think really? it starts from the very initial stage when you enter a <coughs> sorry from enter being a leo a prospect club prospect level yes uh, you, you go to a club you don't know everyone and it's uh, first of all you are given the opportunity to network and it's basically around your area so we have i told you that there are six districts so each district has their own leo clubs so in nigambo you have nigambo leos so sometimes you may have gone to school with them or known them but uh, this is the initial stage that you come across this leos for the first time then you network then little by little you are given an opportunity to read something because uh, there are meeting procedures that we follow so there is uh, something called a pledge of allegiance that we do and a leo pledge so a uh, leo has to come forward and read that that itself is a big step because if you are, i was a very introverted person so for me reading that in the first meeting was a big challenge but when you get past that you get another opportunity to maybe give a speech or to organize a project from little by little you gain these steps step by step and that actually grooms you and as uh, leo manda can you point it out it's a trial and error no one's going to laugh at you no one's going to judge you because we all came from that level so we understand and help each other out that's right. i think the beauty of what leo is a means okay now since you all are on the first hand experience of working with the youth there must be some sort of gap that you all have found out in order to start this club in the first place and join this club and help people so what are these gaps or problems that you all have identified so that you all have come up with this solution to bring out the leaders within the youth so mainly what i feel is uh, let's say that uh, when joining to leo movement or any other movement what uh, people always see is oh, okay so you are going to do community service uh, that's the mindset you are going to do community the service purpose. so why yeah like why would you why would you join to a club or any other society to do community service you can you know even do it day to day but the main purpose that we do is even to organize a project okay in here we put a chairman secretary treasurers and they are itself the leadership is there even to handle a small project you should have that capacity you should be able to understand the people and you should know to allocate right people to the right position and get the support from the right people and also the communication part the main purpose in our lives also the communication is you know one of the main things and the connections that we build the relationships that's the most important thing most of the times even i was like that at school also i was not such a you know very forward person like doni said i was also a very introvert but coming into this movement i created um, a lot of things the communication the relationship the connections so this is also like part of this the purpose of this movement to support everyone you know so i think most of the times people are very much afraid to build up these things you know um afraid to go out there and they feel like okay this is not necessary why would i you know go there and get to know so much of people what's the point you know i just study and you know do my degree and you know get to a job but here even like since we are engaging with lions a lot we get to know a lot of you know uh business world leaders not only in our country but also in other countries as well right so there are a lot of things um i think uh if we talk like there's so much of things that people are afraid of and i feel like people are not concerned of getting into this movement mm -hmm. 
So basically you explain about the benefits and what Leo does again and in terms of the projects and everything and the experience that you can gain if someone joins the Leo club, right? Uh, what I really want to know is now since you all are in uh, the upper hand of this, what are the gaps or the problems that you have seen that uh, the young people are facing at this moment in order to become leaders or think out of the box but because with time i have seen like there has been a change in the way people think like it's not the same way that we think now did our parents think earlier so we need to adapt but right now i also feel that people are running behind statistics or kpis as you said so what are the problems that our young people are facing right now that they are having a difficulty in expressing themselves and becoming that true leader? I think currently the situation of our country itself have forced our youth to kind of get that uh, kind of check box their life, like get your school degree, get the degree find an opportunity abroad. That's right, it's a rat race. It's a, yeah, yeah, basically a rat race. So that's their whole purpose is and we can't blame them as well because they have to earn money, they have to help their families, that's their, that's have, like, become their main focus in life. So then asking a young uh, youth like who's straight after college to join a movement to help others, they would think, why would I? Because I have my prob problems yeah. <laughs> on my own. So, but the problem is that you don't understand is that there's a connection as Leo Mandakini correctly pointed out. You build networking, you meet people, and from that you can get opportunities and groom yourself. So those are also important. It's not about getting that degree and getting that first class. It's not always about that. You have, there are other things that build you up as a person. So I think Leo is like a platform that which allows you to go to that ultimate goal. So one of the problems I see is that we are all caught up in this rat race and trying to compete with each other. I think our education system itself not allowing people to, you know, get into extracurricular things. That's why I think most of the times our youth are facing so much of troubles, you know, face uh, is not able to face challenges most of the times comparing to, you know, other countries. Yeah, that's because the children are spoon fed. There's basically. a lot of gap between the school education also mainly. Where we, we, you know, go on the system root of, course, yeah. I would believe. We go on a system of memorizing things yeah, rather than practical. Right. Going, you know, becoming a doctor, becoming an engineer, that's what p even parents are pushing us to. That's the huge gap, the parents and the education system, I would believe. And also now the financial status. That's right. So people are just running behind something which is numerical. Right? At the same time, like, yeah. the, I mean, the question was, what are the gaps that we have yes. been... So one of the main gaps that I see is when it comes to leadership. Okay. I mean, before taking the leadership of someone else or leading a community, we need to help our people understand that we need to lead ourselves. That is a huge problem which goes under because most of the youth in schools, when you talk about the educational system, also Sri Lanka is really good. I mean, they have all the sports extracurricular activities, they have so many subjects which focuses on good areas. But do we have a subject which focuses on personality? Do we have a subject to focus on to take out your unique personality outside? A pers a, a, I mean, just like, just like one subject, like once a week even, I mean, to have to talk about yourself. What are the areas that you need to improve on, your, on yourself? As a personality, how you can improve yourself? So these are areas that we haven't focused with because we always tell go and lead a community, lead a community. But we can't lead someone else without you can't lead yourself. I mean, when you have down confidence about yourself, when you don't feel that you are this, how can you go and tell someone else to be this? That's right. So, in education system also, I see one of the main gaps is that we talk about everything. Sri Lanka is really good, but we don't have one thing, a, a small time to our anyone in the youth. I mean, it can be a small kid, it can be someone who's 17, 18, but talk about their self. I mean, we talk, we, we, I mean, like we, we always tell go and f find yourself, find yourself what you are passionate about, what you are really good about. 
I mean to find about yourself because some people they keep finding about themselves in the age of 30, 40 also, in the age of 50, 60 also. And then tell at that time if I realized I would have yeah. been doing great. At that time we didn't realize because we were always thought about academics. Biology, mathematics, English, we were always thought about academics, academics and then sports also, yes, all the sports are there. But our core strengths and our capabilities, our adding to it like, you know, you both know like how much we struggle like when we, uh, you know, give a proposal to a school or a university, how much we struggle to convince, convince them, them to, you know, start this club because they are like, no, they have so much of exams, they have this, they have to fulfill their deadlines, academics, assignments, they have their O levels, A levels, you know, that kind of thing that they are not like, I, I feel like we should um, help the youth to be multitasking. Yeah, work life balance is really important because otherwise, when they go into a professional life, it's really hard for them to balance their personal life, professional life. You know, the work life balance will be, you know, nil. I think so there's a at huge the end, gap. I'll there. Give a, uh, one of the main things where we really come to realize this. I mean, you might be a very good speaker, you might be a good presenter, you might be a very good sportsman, you might be really good in your academics, everything. Just think when you go to an interview, at that time, sometimes you go and take your, tell, this is my CV, okay, and then you expect them to read all the CV and when we tell, okay, tell about Tell yourself. Tell about yourself, most of the youth, they go blank. They're like, for a moment. What have I done? He's <laughs> his experience is saying because he's like <laughs> mostly in inter recruitment and interview And people, then so. they tell, my name is Rahul Atanayaka. You go tell about, but you need to tell who the hell you are. Uh, that, that, that is the time where you need to take your leadership and you, you need to s sell yourself. I'm Rahul. This is unique about me. You need to go and sell yourself. But in schools and all, I mean, after that also, we don't teach that part. We don't teach how to go and sell yourself. I mean, I'm yeah. saying how to sell your personality, how to go and tell Introduce who the hell you yourself. are. Exactly. Yeah. But that's an area we really lack. I mean, if we can really work on that, we can see some great personalities. Because I see there are some great personalities. They think that, okay, if I come up, what will happen? Am I good at this? You need to give that at the school time itself, I believe. Because that is a time where you get the opportunity to talk and open and do all of that. Right. Thank you for your intake. But we definitely need to continue this discussion. But before that, we have to go into a short commercial break. We'll be back soon. You're watching Gen XYZ. Welcome back to Gen XYZ. Now in the first segment we've been talking about Leo Club and the purpose of their existence and the benefits that they can offer to the young people joining this club as well. And now I think uh, we left off with Rahul mentioning about the gaps and about people having a difficulty in expressing themselves. So before that I would like you to be introduced to Malinda Ganevatta who is the Leo Multiple District Treasurer. Thank, Thank you Malinda for joining us on the second segment. It's nice to have me here. Alright, to continue the discussion now Rahul you were mentioning about people having a difficulty in expressing themselves and knowing about themselves. So I want to pose a question to all three of you all. Why has it been difficult for people to find out who they are? Like, what is stopping them from exploring themselves here in Sri Lanka, especially? Because a lot of people might be able to explain the views of other people. Yes, my brother is a person like this. My friend is a person like this. But who am I? I mean, that's the problem there is that we always go to compare ourselves. That's right. Very simple. Sri Lankans are really good to compare. compare. I mean, from small days, what we see is that other exam, we compare, we compare you with the other side kid. And then we compare with the costumes, the dress, with everything, I mean, with what we have. And the worst part is we do compare our personalities. 
we go front of the mirror and tell look i don't look nice no others are prettier than me look at me the funniest part is the person who really t- tall things i'm too tall no i should be a bit short i mean the guy who short things i'm very short i should be tall i mean guy who's very thin things i should be fat the guy who fat things i should be thin we always compare ourselves with other people and then we go and we fall again to the same place where we keep comparing and we don't try to take out the best personality in ourselves so i believe that is one of the main thing which comes under comparison comparison so i mean that makes your mentality go down and your confidence so many things it affects your entire freaking life sometimes you might be a great individual but your great personality won't come out because you always try to compare yourself with someone else i mean we might not be very good in everything you might not be a multitasking personality in everything but each and every one of us are we are good at something so we need to discover that but the hum- the biggest problem as i see is the comparison the thing called comparing with people as to our i mean sri lankans we do that a lot and we do it to ourselves also i mean the yeah and and comparing i mean if if we actually look into the whole root cause of this thing um earlier i was also discussing it uh, one of my friends like it's it's because it it has been it's if if i can sum it to like two words it's the rat race the the parents like in 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 sri lanka people need to like give a huge effort to satisfy their basic needs right so so when that happens you have to make sure that you are in the best professions in the society so and so in so in 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 order to do that you have to know that okay so i, I have to be better than the other person in in the classroom that that's that's how education has evolved i mean it it doesn't have a place for a for a child who is an artist i mean because you might not be able to make a huge wage out of becoming an artist in in this kind of a country so those kind of you like the 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 actual talents of people are not like taken out so it's it's kind of that's that's that, that's the whole sad thing so they actually forced to compare because let's say you if 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 you are to be chosen to the university you have to score uh greater than the other person who's who maybe i think it's I mean, all about not having an opportunity to express yourself in the beginning it's about following that one particular standard that you are set to follow in every single thing like you learn you do this you do that you graduate but they are, we are not given an opportunity to explore yourself at see who am i as i think rahul said in the first segment as to uh, see that what kind of a person you are that's exactly true because it's embedded in our sri lankan souls that okay this is a to z you need to start from a finish from z if not there's no other pathway for you and the thing is like when you stick to that path you don't try to see the other pathways available for you also there's this thing called sticking to your comfort zone people are so terrible with moving away from their comfort zone even though if the opportunity is greater they're just scared to you know take that risk so now uh, i want to ask you now since this leo club have, has been doing a lot of programs as well what are the events or programs that you all have done in order for the youth to come up further and express themselves some of the activities that you'll have done talk about the walk is i think uh, one of the main activities that we have is the leo walk that happens uh, each year to celebrate the leo day which falls on december 5th but sometimes we vary it from that day but the main purpose of the walk is to get all the six districts together in one area in kalamba we get them together and then you see that we get leaves from jaffna and trincomalee gol to nigambo to kalambo gampaha and radhapura all of these leaves come together in one place and then they see oh, there's people like me they are doing the same thing as i do so the the building that network and creating an opportunity to express themselves and then you see we create some message through our walk every each year it depends on one yeah it was the fight against drugs then the next year it was uh, i think unveiling walk ourselves so this year it was devil's uh, walk devil's walk. walk we wanted to get our sri lankan culture a- into it so we are trying 
little things to get our youth involved in this initiative so they understand that they have a voice, they can express it. So I think walk is one of the uh, things then we have. I think. And we uh, do a training in the beginning of the year for all the officers of all Leo clubs because they are supposed to send us a report monthly of what they're doing, the activity reports and all this. How do you kind of effectively report the stuff that you do in a project and those kind of things. And plus, basically, in a high level, we have this uh, way of appreciating all the clubs you know, in, in, a, in, a, in a fiscal year, we call it. So we have different award categories. So one one of the uh, one of the categories there is youth empowerment, youth empowerment, women empowerment. So when I mean when when youth get together to fulfill a certain purpose, like right now it's service. So these rec re recognition systems they give them a uh, pathway to okay think okay. So wh what we basically do do is we tell them when you're doing projects, you go out to your community and look at what, what kind of needs do they have. So when they have, uh, when they look at the community and when they see those needs, and then uh, they think, okay, what, what type of thing can we do? So they, they have these awards and then, I mean, uh, it's not that they are doing the thing for the award, but then again, they have a certain purpose to go to. So we kind of set that track. That is also something that we, we are doing. Apart from like, there are individual projects, there is like a lot of projects. But apart from that, that kind of thing is also done. I mean, in simple, like we have given them a, a, a guideline sort of like, I mean, there are so many categories that you can f focus on and above the water, below the water, environment, elder care, like so, so many they projects. They have kind on. of a guide, like I can do this. This, this is also like the categories that they can uh, do. Like we have, I think, 30 odd categories, but uh, it's like, Youth empowerment, women empowerment, that means they had to do a project in women empowerment. They had to come up with a way to help someone or uh, do something within that category. But we have given them guidelines, what you can do, what you can follow. And talking about projects, I think Fusion, we must mention, that's a project that we started where we got pioneers of the like leadership ladder in like uh, we got Kasturi Chalaraja and Ms. Sali, Mr. Sali Piris to come up and our youth were given the chance to talk about like the questions they have directly to them, a platform to them. So they could ask whatever they want from the panelists and they would answer back. So especially in this uh, kind of situation of a country, youth had a lot of questions. What is going to happen? What our role in that? So we had some really good pioneers joining up on that as well. So that's one opportunity we offer to the youth. Okay, so how can you describe uh, the engagement throughout uh, island-wide engagement? Now, it's not just Colombo, you all have district-wise clubs. So how can you describe the engagement of uh, urban areas as well as in Colombo? Yeah, well, engagement I think it's pretty good, but I mean, as anything, Colombo is a bit crowded. Colombo area is a bit crowded. But uh, since like there are like six districts, and uh, there are six district presidents, they conduct their own programs to uh, increase the engagement in their own respective cities. Now, for example, she's from B1, uh, the district called B1. So normally, other than they would get together in uh, a city like Nigambo, something like that. And we have so Jaffna as well, Jaffna so we can't well. expect them to come to all the events yeah. in right. So they have their own events there, and we visit them. Then Trincomalee Leo's to fabulous projects over there. Then the goal is joining. The engagement is there because everyone wants to do something as uh, Leo Rahul mentioned, in their own capabilities. We can't expect the same uh, the people in, around in Colombo suburbs that the Jaffna Leo's would be able to cater to the same needs. They have their own capabilities and capacities. But they do engage through those capabilities and capacities. Okay, perfect. So, how who's taking the leadership in the other districts as well? Now, I know that you guys are in the front line, but who is responsible for the districts which are in Jaffna or Trincomalee of that sort? So, I think best thing is if we talk about the district presidents of presidents, ours. Yeah. So, as I think she mentioned that there are like six administrative areas, six districts. So, just like uh, I mean, uh, the, Evan, the lead, uh, yeah, Tandir. Yeah, so we have six districts, districts A1, A2, that B1, B2, so C1 and C2. So in A1, that's actually my district. So A1, we have uh, Leo Randir Samar Singh, he's the district president. In A2, we have Vihan Managi. 
and uh, B1 we have Suhan Gomez, B2 Ra Ragesh Yogeshwaran and C1 we have Coach the Gamlat and C2 Indunil Padiyavan. So like six different people who have come up from the like Leo member stage, club president and in the district council like that. So they have come up to the rank of the district president. So those guys are the ones who kind of uh, control, not control as in they... Uh, the leadership. They, leadership they give leadership, the, the district, yeah, leadership, leadership to the districts and they they sort of give out their own plan and in their plan they talk with their own clubs what kind of events are you guys going to plan okay this year we are going to do this in this day so likewise they organize their own thing but i mean before that we would give, give out our, our plan for the year and then with according to that they will make their so we just collectively do it so it's, it's kind of like a uh, it's it, it is done in their own terms Right. So, yeah. Got it. So, thank you for, we've reached the end of our second segment as well. We'll continue this discussion, but before that, we're going into a short commercial break. We'll be back soon. Stay with us. Welcome back to Gen XYZ and we've reached our last segment for this episode and uh, we've been discussing about Leo Club and the activities that they have been doing and uh, we took off by talking about the projects that they have currently been doing. So on the third segment, Mandagini, welcome back to the third segment. Now to continue with the discussion, again, since you all are at the forefront of these projects, I want you to share some of the stories that you all have experienced firsthand, like the benefits that the youth will gain out of joining youth, uh, the Leo clubs. Where, uh, how did the youths uh, join you all at the start and where are they now and some of the stories or the experience that you all have come across. Well, yeah, um, for example, so normally this effect actually takes place because you are in a like-minded community, so everybody here comes to do a certain service and then everybody wants to get somewhere in life so that's 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 the main thing it's the one main thing so um, i have one of our district presidents who had uh, who had been um, now he's a corporate trainer so he was one of our district presidents and he was also a multiple district president like formally in the, his position uh, so that, that was like 10 years back so he was a, he he's now uh, a corporate trainer so all the like the trainings that he has the, all the i mean the trainings that he uh, that he has got to speak in front of the public is from leo club so he 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 he, he always mentions this in, in his speeches so it's like ara mama metane adi inne leo club ekena gena mata mata mehema katha karanna pulang vetcha kenek neme namuth but i took off that stage fright and everything out of myself because of the work that i did in leo club so he actually molded himself into becoming a professional speaker by working in this it's not simply doing projects but it's kind of like when you are in a set of when you are with a like a set of like minded people you kind of when you are doing certain things at uh, after a certain period 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 of time you understand okay what i'm good at and what i'm not good at so then with that you can just go up and then you have a set of contacts we we, we have a whole network of like i mean lions are there with us so th there's a whole network of business uh, personnel there and there's a whole network of other entrepreneurs in leoism now and he is also as well an entrepreneur he has his own thing so likewise you know uh, we, when you get in that network and with the like kind set of people you grow simply yeah i mean mainly think that talking about discovering yourself by being a leo and you know what you get out of being i mean doing all of this stuff i think if you take personally i mean any human being we have our own strengths and weaknesses i mean if 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 if, if we take something like a basics a sort analysis uh, like every one of us we have our own sort so the hard thing is we identify now what is our sort as fast as possible because if we take a long time to identify this our sort in simply what are strengths and what are weaknesses because as young people always we like to talk about our strengths we love to talk about our strengths we we, we will tell up for hours we are we are good in this we are good in this we are good in this but when you go to talk about your weaknesses 
we do not talk about our weaknesses. We are scared to talk about our weaknesses. I mean, you don't need to go and in publicly talk talk about your weaknesses, but you should know your weaknesses and you should work on to improve that. Some people don't even know what their weaknesses exactly. are in the first place. And and most of us, we don't know the opportunities which we have. I mean, to know the, I mean, to identify the opportunities which you have, you should first of all know what are your strengths. And on my strengths, I can work on my opportunities. And and on my on on my weaknesses, which can be a big huge problem for me in upcoming days and to add something for that we don't know our weakness and we are even shy to confront ourselves even yeah, we have this weakness yeah, because of the competitive mentality at the same we time don't acknowledge. it comes from our small days also now just think we always tell api rosa part again girl amagi part we tell right but if you take like around five to six girls and ask them what is your favorite color they won't tell my color is pink <laughs> okay it's not that but we think a girl is pink a boy is blue we symbolize things you symbolize yeah. but i mean girl can like even blue even a boy can like pink you can't tell this this but that's the mindset we have come up with and we try to always tell ourselves that we are in the comfort zone we are good we are good we are good we are not bad we are good I mean that is good that makes you confident that is really really good but you need to really understand where you stand so by being a leo you always can you know ara hap polave paya gahala polave paya gala you can learn from here this is a place i mean the best curves i have think like so many people who comes here without knowing extracting themselves but after coming here they get to know a lot about themselves so this is a place where you can build your personality because i always believe මම්මේ ගොඩක් තැන් වලදී මං කියනවා මම කරන වර්ක්ෂොප් සත් මම මම්මේ ගොඩක්ට කියනවා මේ ලෝකේ ඔයා වගේ එක්කෙන ඉන්න කියලා. Okay because in this world there can be so many people. I mean you me Malinda Mandagini Dulini all of us. But api hamotama thiyenne a unique personality එකක්. ඔයා වගේ තව කෙනෙක් නැහැ. Okay in this world there can be so many people who who looks like you, who dress like you, who sounds like you. who has the same sound look ekka okkoma same ekkama nama thiyena if you take rahul latnayaka rahul sai in india also but if you try to find the exact rahul the unique rahul it's only me i'll challenge the entire world there is no other rahul in this world called me it's only freaking me like that each and every one of us it's only person called who is only you it's only ek carbon copy ak nae ema kenek indala nae ඉන්නේ වා විතරයි එම කෙනෙක් එන්නේ නැහැ ඔකේ at the same time අපේ ළමෙක් වත් even one of our kids even will not be the same as us 100% carbon copies නැහැ so if you are the only person in this world called you you need to respect that personality you need to give that personality the opportunity to go and really show off go and really put that personality out which we don't do that's exactly you have to work on building yourself and identifying who you are as an individual and expressing that rather than trying to be someone else right exactly even okay. when i was schooling like i was so much introvert even like they asked me to give a speech i always it's not speak speech i always read a paper and i was not even a perfect you know but after getting into this movement um i started giving speeches and now i don't even look at a paper and uh, So last year I was a district president in my district so I invited my parents to my conference and they were very much impressed they didn't even know that I'm this kind of a person they haven't even <laughs> seen they always see that I go home for leo work and I then come late night that's all they see they always complaining but they never knew that I was this kind of a person and even it improved a lot in my um, english my vocabulary the way I talk the way I dress everything it's 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 all it's always a success story even a small thing matters you know everything we do so it helps a lot it helps yeah, a lot yeah look at you now you're on a tv program <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> i never like i never dreamed of that so yeah okay and the other thing is that sometimes my the marinda mate can agree way good up api or me leo in leo api hira wala na i mean we have been like very very open like we don't stick into this box I mean I always tell you go open and just do open stuff. I mean once we did a, a project in the Kanatta in the Borella Kanatta. 
So I mean we don't always stick into one box saying this is the tradition, this is the culture. We are very open where you can go and do crazy stuff. Yeah, okay, well, now I'm interested. You're wondering what, what we are doing in the project was. Yeah. <laughs> he was like chanting some period for the, you know. Sorry? Deaths. Chanting period for the deaths. No, I mean bit about Kanat. Kanat in the sense uh, api projects karane we always do for the alive people right alive environment alive people so in 2016 when i was a club president okay i was thinking we always do projects for the alive people why can't we do for something for dead people apita bari the maricha minisu ni mukak kari karanna and then what i was thinking the best place to go and do that is the kanatta in the kanatta there are so many alives that in some religious religions they believe it in some they don't so in the cemetery what i was thinking was okay if we can go there apita etana amma pandapaya gahala eli wene kape piritak kiyala if we can have something like that okay etana inna aathmalata okkumata we can give something something like honoring the dead yes so basically uh, that was the concept so uh, i mean it well, it was something out of the box thing so it's like that even malinda have done a lot so it simply we don't stick into one box we give the opportunity to go open and think you don't need to always go to the living people you go, can even go to the unliving okay and give them something also so it's like we thought like so, so many people think that we only do service projects but uh, in my as something that i also did something like that in my district president year we made a uh, we made a project a software project where everybody can submit their reports a portal It's a normal website kind of thing not not it, it it is kind of an extension of it but now the whole sri lanka uses it and now people who are in software industry they can come into the leo clubs and they can contribute their knowledge as a service so they can develop that platform and they can put it on their portfolio and they can uh, do a service to the community through that so likewise it, it is not something that any everybody would think of you when you think service projects you go somewhere and you give some dry rations and things like that but it's far like greater than that it has a bigger uh, scope well willio club is engrossed with a lot of variety of projects and uh well y'all have been doing a lot and empowering the youth as well well unfortunately this is all the time we have on the program and if we go on talking i'm pretty sure that y'all have so we'll many other lot. stories to yeah. share as well but i hope the youth who are watching this will get a positive message out of this and identify the benefits of joining leo clubs as well so anyway thank you so much for taking the time to join me on the show today well this is all the time we have anyway all the very best for your future projects as well in the club Thank you. Thank you. And that was our episode on Gen X Y Z. We will be back again next week with another uh, issue or topic based on the youth. And just in case you couldn't watch us on air, you can always rewatch by catching us on our YouTube channel, youtube.com/slash other than English. I'm Suzanne Shanali. Stay safe and have a good night.